Hello! My name is Navigator, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my favorite locations to farm junk. It's not going to be super long today, uh, there's only going to be a handful of locations, but uh, truth be told, I really don't ever need, like, you know, a wide variety of junk out at all times. It's mostly just kind of, no, I run out of a small stash of it, and I go back just to refill it. So what I'm going to do today is show you where I go, and uh, maybe some perks that I use to help me with that. So, let's start with those perks before I really get into it. Um, if you guys have not seen on my channel, I have a video going over my camp and vendor loadout. I was thinking about uh, doing an updated version of this, but just briefly let me show you what this is. It's just uh, all the perks I would need when I'm like repairing stuff in my camp, and also for fast traveling, collecting junk, and uh, buying stuff like that. So the perks we're going to want to have on for this is going to be traveling pharmacy. You're going to be fast traveling a lot in this, or if you're doing this kind of uh, this circuit, I guess. So that's going to be very beneficial. You're paying, you know, 30% fewer caps, and you're also going to want to have on woodchucker. Uh, this is really easy. It's just, you know, this is two stars in total. Woodchucker is going to make it so you can collect twice as much uh, when you're harvesting wood. If there's any other perks you guys would suggest, I mean, Pack Rat is pretty nice. I do have this on here when I'm getting junk. I, that is one I should mention, too. Pack Rat. So I guess five stars in total is really all you'll need uh, to kind of do this circuit. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go to the first location and the closest one, which is going to be Helvetia. Um, this is a place where I tend to get wood. Uh, I'm only going to this one first because it is close to me, uh, but the next one I'll show you is going to be where I get most of my wood. Okay. So you spawn in here to Helvetia. This is going to be really obvious. I know a lot of you guys already know about this, but you run over here to this yellow house, and right behind here is going to be this massive wood pile. So I'm not going to stand here and gather all this wood, but this is really, there's a whole lot of it here. With that woodchucker perk on there, you're obviously getting over 100 just being here, or at least I believe over 100. Not exactly too sure on that, but this is a really good place for wood. The next one I want to talk about is going to be all the way over here in the Savage Divide region, just south of the Hopewell Cave, which is going to be Sylvie and Sons Logging Camp. This is the number one place in the whole game to get wood. Uh, maybe the, what is it, the uh, the Moonshine Jamboree location? I don't know. Also, sorry about this fast travel shit. Helvetia is full of scorch. There's probably one probably like 10 feet to my left or some shit. I don't even know. But good thing we didn't have to fight him. All right, so again, you come in here with the woodchucker perk. There are typically three to four mongrel dogs here, so uh, I'm not going to kill them today. We'll just kind of move on or something. Actually, what perk loadout am I using? Maybe we can. Let's just get rid of these these guys. Oh, yeah, I keep I have my... Uh... Damn it, I meant to keep, keep my rifleman perk on there in case there were enemies at this location, but it's okay. We'll just speed run this. Yeah, so these dogs, I always end up doing this, and they're always so hard to kill. I'm sorry about this, folks. But, uh, you know, this is, this is what you gotta do when you're running this circuit. You gotta kill all these dogs, so. God, I feel like... You guys ever play the old Call of Duties, and you would have to snap the German Shepherd's necks when you were doing those old, like, uh... What do you call it? Those old Call of Duty missions, whatever. You know, the dogs would run at you, and you have to, like, do something? I don't even know. Also, am I over-encumbered or something? I shouldn't be. I think I'm just diseased. This is taking way too fucking long. I hate these things. They're so annoying. Alright, maybe he can take care of them. I guess not. Okay, well, he might... Is he doing it? This dog is probably going to kill him before he does. Finally! Oh my god, I hate those fucking dogs. Okay, so right here in the back of the truck, there's a lot of wood. On the side of the tent here, uh, even more fucking wood. And on the other side of this tent, and inside this tent, there is even more fucking wood. On top of that, some of these logs back here you can take. There's other little wood piles scattered around this place, you know, here and there. So there you have it. We've been here way too long. Sorry about those dogs, folks. Fuck them. Let's move on to the next location, which is going to be the, uh, the abandoned bog town. One of the number one things that I always need is concrete, and it is something that, you know, you don't typically find out there too often. It really only comes in the cement bags, um, but this place is really awesome for it. Uh, I did collect these recently, so it might not spawn for me, but I'm still just going to show you where they would be. So you fast travel in, you spawn it right over there by, uh, what is it, Pylon B13, or V13, there you go, and you just run right over here. There might be a behemoth there, which could be a plus or a minus, depending on what you're 
the weapons you're using. You might want to, you know, kill that, get a bunch of shit and XP for it, or just run right by it, which is uh, not what I typically do. I usually kill it, but anyways, we're up here. This little corner where this sledgehammer is, there will be anywhere from four to five concrete bags, and then you walk over here, past the toolbox, to this little area right here where it's kind of illuminated, and behind this table right here will be a concrete uh, bag right there, as long, or uh, as well as some concrete bags under this table. Uh, over here, right next to this little, I don't even know what the fuck it's called, cart, whatever, there will be four concrete bags stacked, and if you come over here and jump up, there will be one more concrete bag right on top of here. As far as I know, that is all of the concrete you can get from this location. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, where was it? Oh, the Silva Homestead. That's right. All the way over here on the left side of the map. Where is it? There it is. There's a fucking Scorch Beast around me. I'm gonna turn my flashlight off so she can't see me. And hopefully no enemies will find me. What is up here? Interesting. Ooh. Ooh, some desks fan. Desk fans and typewriters. Oh! Let me cancel this. Hold on. Fuck, uh... Fuck the Charleston Herald. I was gonna go to the Charleston Herald. Check this out, folks. So you, you hop upstairs from this and look at this. You have... A typewriter. Uh, another typewriter. A desk fan. Another typewriter. Over here. Another typewriter. Another desk fan. And keep in mind, these items have screws in them. Screws are incredibly valuable. Typewriter. I'm pretty sure the cell phone might have a screw in it, too. Let me just see. Uh, telephone, typewriter. Yeah, they have screws. Telephones have uh, circuitry and copper. Oh, my gosh. There's so many fucking... Holy shit. I never even knew about this place. That's so crazy, so you have to jump up in order to get here, I guess. I have no idea what's going on. I'm getting a fucking potential spam call. What the fuck? Oh, my lord. All right, any more phones, desk fans, typewriters? Holy shit. Huh. I never even knew about this. This is brilliant. So many typewriters. What do you know, folks? There you go. You learn something every day. Okay, so I guess that the uh, abandoned bog town is not only good for concrete, it's also good for screws. So there you go. The oh, the other location I was actually going to go to for this was going to be the Charleston Herald. Where is this place? Uh, Charleston Herald's right there. Um, they also have a lot of typewriters there, but definitely not as many as they do here. Holy shit. So let me show you how you get up here just one more time. Uh, so yeah, you come over here, you get all the concrete, you walk past this little uh, tool board, whatever you want to call it, and you jump through this hole in the ceiling. Holy shit, I never even knew about this. What do you know? All right, folks, let me see what other locations I have. Oh yeah, Silva Homestead, that is right. Let's, uh, let's pop over there. Okay, there we go. And now we can fast travel. So there we have it. Uh, I guess this is, uh, I guess I should be watching this video so that I can learn something. Jeez, man. Holy crap. I had no idea about that. That's so cool. And screws are definitely a really valuable thing. All right. So I actually just learned about this place literally a couple days ago. Uh, but if you need oil, this is a very, very good place to find it. So you run up here to this farm with the uh, with the grain silo and the antennas and shit. You come inside, there's the robot here. But what we're going to be looking for is stuff like this, like the Mr. Handy Fuel. Uh, I believe the Bunsen burner, maybe. I'll take that microscope just because, uh, you know... Those are valuable as well. And uh, let's see what else we have. We have an unused oil can. Some more Mr. Handy fuel. Um, I don't think that extinguisher, the sensor module I'll take, a desk fan, why not? Some Wonder Glue. Let's see what other oil stuff we can find. I know that there is more of it. Um, what do we have? A bucket there, some chlorine if you need it. Coming up here, where is the rest of it, though? Uh, there's the blowtorch. That is oil right there. Uh, over here, I felt like there was more. Oh, there's a whole other barn. That's why. Yeah, come over here. Uh, coming in this other little barn here. Very kind of cool, not very similar. Kind of similar to that. They have the grain silos on the back. But if you come in here, uh, there is... Where is it? Oh, I don't want those rat roaches touching me. Get away from me, you vile insects. Uh, where is it? There's another blowtorch. Um... Actually, I'll pop that Nuka Cherry. Why not? Uh, where is it? I know there's more in here. I think it was behind here, maybe. Was it? No, but... Oh, yeah, check this out. Isn't that so cool? Little Mr. Giddy Up, or a teddy bear riding a Giddy Up Buttercup with a little hat on. I thought that was so cute. Um, even if there's nothing really, nothing else, there, that's still a lot. I feel like there is more that does tend to spawn here. Maybe I missed a couple over in the other barn or something like that. But let me look. So, uh, let's see how much oil we got from all that. Let me go all the way to the top. Blowtorch, okay. Uh, one, or sorry, that's two oil. Uh, two, five oil. Eleven oil. 
12 oil. There you go, 12 oil right there. Not bad, not a lot, but you know, you come here every day. Maybe you, uh, let's see, maybe you know you used oil on something or you're saving up for it. You know, you're getting 12 oil a day from just one location. That's not terrible. You know, you, far, you save it up for a little bit and you probably have 100 before you know it. And 100 is not that bad. So, um, well, at least in my sense, I really only use oil for paint and stuff like that when I'm painting shit, which I do frequently, but I know a lot of people use it for uh, ammo and shit like that. So let me take a look at my list one more time just to see if there are any. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what we're going to talk about. Sp uh, springs. Springs. The last one on our list. Uh, springs, the number one place that uh, are, I guess, the number one kind of location that I go for is places that have uh, Yao Guai. Those locations are going to be, well, number one, let's check out Dali San's uh, Wilderness. This place typically has uh, a lot, or not a lot, but always has one Yao Guai that will spawn out front. Let's see if he's here today. Uh, doesn't look like he is, but he will usually be right here in the middle of the road. He's not behind me, is he? But, uh, yeah, so right there. Sometimes there's one back behind this whole area, but I'm not really going to waste my time showing you that. The other location that I will note for, uh, you know, uh, Yao Guai, stuff like that, is going to be the Philippi Battlefield Cemetery. Um... Uh, while we're loading in, the other one I can mention is going to be Site Alpha. There's usually a Yao Guai that will spawn uh, on the little like lake there, little pond, and you can kill that Yao Guai. But let's see if there is one that has spawned here in the parking lot. Does no? Oh, there has. Well, there you go, Yao Guai right there. And let me actually see how long it will take me to kill one without the right perks on. Because we're almost done with the video here, so let's give myself a little bit of a challenge. Oh, he's barreling at me. He is not happy. Not a happy camper. Not a happy camper at all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Only you can fucking put a triage on my arm. I don't even know what I was trying to say. I was trying to make a Smokey the Bear joke. I don't even know. All right, so we're below half health. Not bad. Moving along here. I don't even know how much damage I'm fucking doing with this thing without my rifle and perks on. Oh, it's so getting so close. He's getting so close. He's trapped in there, though. Oh, those cars helped out a lot. Alright, one more shot should do it. Oh, I missed him. There we go. Okay, so, looking on his body here, you can see loose springs, five. So, they usually have that many springs on them. I'm really not going to bluff on that. They usually have a lot of springs. So, if you're looking for springs, the Yao Guais are the uh, animals, or the, I guess the enemies, to go after. Um, I don't really have any other ones. I didn't really want to make this like a huge drag of a video. Uh, kind of just off the rip. Just wanted to get this out of the way in case anybody was wondering, uh, you know, my locations where I can get stuff like that. Um... Uh, you know, just thinking about it, maybe some other locations to find stuff. I really don't even know. If there is, um, I'll leave it in the comments below if I think of something like that, but I'm probably not going to make another video on this or anything. This is really the brunt of where I get, uh, you know, a lot of my junk. If you're curious about steel, the advice I have to you about steel, um, even if you don't have Fallout first, pick up everything, sell everything, and anything you can't sell, scrap it. Dude, basically anything that you fucking pick up is gonna have steel in it. For the most part, you scrap weapons, that's steel and wood right there. Uh, steel is so, so easy to come by, but you go through it very, very fast. The other advice I will say about really steel or any junk in general is friends. Friends. Always, you know, talk to people, uh, trade with people, see who's got what. You might ha you might find somebody who's got a uh you know, like a, a 100k steel that they bought off of Game Flip or some shit that doesn't really give a fuck, and they might give you a thousand or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I'm very thankful to have friends that, you know, provide for me and stuff like that. Not like I'm, you know, begging or I, I, I'm requiring that stuff, but they've been very gracious and kind to, you know, offer me junk and stuff when I need it. So I really haven't had too much trouble, you know, finding certain things. But really, if you guys do have trouble with that, I definitely suggest, you know, reaching out to other players, just asking if they can can help you out. You know, don't be, uh, I guess, you know, begging them for stuff like that. Be all needy, but just, you know, ask politely and maybe they'll give you a scrap or two. Who knows? Uh, I guess the last thing I could say is LFGs as well if you're really looking for junk, but that's really it. And LFGs, if you're on Xbox, what I mean by that is looking for group posts. I don't really think they have stuff like that on the uh, PlayStation or the or on PC, but on the Xbox, it's kind of like a little forum that you can pop up while you're playing the game and you can like put shit out there like, hey, does anybody want to play this? Does anybody want to, you know, buy this? Uh, I really should make a video on that for Xbox players. That'd be really awesome. But I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' time. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I'm really close to, I think, 1.5k subs, and that means the fucking world to me. All right, folks. My name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.